Hi everyone, it's Phil London and I am going to go over what I just bought at Trader Joe's. Um, if you know me, you know that I do not like to cook. I hate it. I hate being in the kitchen, but I like to eat reasonably healthy. So um, I'm going to show you what I purchased at Trader Joe's. Um, some of my go-tos that make quick, healthy recipes. Um, I really like the organic frozen brown rice. Microwave in three minutes. But then I also get just, I, I like this flavor of the brown rice. So this is your fully cooked long grain brown rice. Um, and you just microwave this for 60 seconds. So that's quick and easy um but i do usually get the frozen and make the frozen more often um i get already hard boiled eggs and that is so i can add them quickly to my salad but i do also get um these aren't from trader joe's these are actually um you can get these at whole foods or you can get them at shaw's um but i get eggs too i get regular eggs but for quick on the go, add and chop up into a salad for some quick on the go protein. Um, Cause I hate boiling eggs because they make my house smell. So I like to get those. So again, I use, like to use chopped spinach um, and it's frozen. And I like to always have that in my freezer. I do buy fresh spinach too. But um, I like this to always have in my freezer. I make sure I have a couple bags of it in my freezer. And uh, that spinach you can easily add to a soup. And I'll show you that soup in a minute. Um, I like a couple of the soups from Trader Joe's too. Next I get roasted chicken. Now yes, I sometimes buy whole chicken and um, cook a whole chicken or chicken breast and I bake it. But if I am on the go and I need some reasonably healthy protein, I will get the roasted chicken. And you can see it's roasted with olive oil, salt, and pepper. It's ready to eat. It tells you the calories and the fat, and I love it. Um, and I'll sometimes uh, do just the roasted chicken with a um, baked potato or roasted potato, or you can do it with the brown rice that I showed you already. Um, it's great. I, I really like it. I also get just turkey. Now, I hear that tryptophan uh, doesn't make you tired, but I don't know. I like to eat my turkey at night because then I do feel a little tired, so sometimes I'll have some um, turkey breast. What I like about this is that you can make sandwiches with this, so you shouldn't be buying the deli meats. Just go ahead and buy um, the simply sliced roasted turkey breast ready to eat. Um, I love this um, for quick and on the go. But again, you can also bake chicken and you can get whole chicken if you want to cook a whole turkey you can i don't know how to um but i love this for on the go okay next uh this is new i found this today and it is kale and brussels sprouts and broccoli and green cabbage so i thought that would be awesome uh as a topper to one of my salads so that looked really good and it's already cut up, which I love because I hate preparing things in the kitchen. So, you know, this video is and blog is going to be for people who really hate the kitchen but need healthy items. So I really liked this. That was new. And then I get tons of greens. And again, you can get whole greens and then you can cut them up and you can wash them yourselves. But I like to get the bagged lettuces and then just wash it and then eat. Um, I got today just baby lettuce mix and I got romaine. I love baby lettuces. I don't know. They have a mild flavor and they take on um, olive oil um, nicely and vinegar, which is what I usually use. I'll show that in a minute. So baby romaine. Then I just, um, I have to make myself eat broccoli and cauliflower. I don't really love it. Um, so just steamed broccoli or steamed cauliflower and um so I made myself get that today, and that made me feel good that I was getting something really healthy. And we'll go to the Brussels sprouts next. So I love Brussels sprouts. I hate preparing them. I hate to have to wash them and cut them. So I looked at these, and I saw them. They're frozen. They're in the Trader Joe's 
frozen section and they were already ready. You just have to heat them up. So whether or not you still bake them in the oven, which I do, and I bake them with um, a barbecue seasoning I'll show in a minute. And um, I love that with a little olive oil. So I am super excited about this. So I bought four bags of these, okay? And then I left out another bag here to show you and the other two are already in my freezer. So I was super excited about the Brussels sprouts. And I always like to have a little treat, something that isn't uh, that healthy, but if I am feeling like I want to eat something that is not super healthy, I like to have a few options. This was the one I decided on today, zucchini fries, and they're uh, grilled and lightly uh, battered and zucchini, and I would put them in the oven. And you know, that just allows me to feel like I don't go and get french fries um, or other fried foods. And it says that they're baked, grilled actually. Also get almond milk so that I can make my smoothies. And I'll show that in a minute too. And um, I like to add those to my salads. But what I like about this top is uh, you don't have to use a can opener. You can just pop that open and in seconds you have it added for a topping to your salad. So the Evolution drinks, um, I've been buying from Stop and Shop, but you can also get them at um, maybe Whole Foods and definitely Starbucks. Um, I don't love this flavor, but when I drink it, because it's got beet and spinach and lime and parsley and ginger, um, I think it's really good for you. And so I kind of just drink it. And um, as I drink it, more and more, it tastes a little bit better. Um, but if you can stomach these Evolution drinks, um, some of them uh, taste better than others, like smoothies. They were delicious. I had one this weekend. Sweet Green was delicious. Um, and so you could just try a different flavor. Again, at Stop and Shop, they're a little cheaper and sometimes on sale. So I really liked that. I also make sure I have avocados um, and then I needed some sea salt so that's what I season sometimes my chicken if I bake it or uh, my Brussels sprouts um, and then this looked really yummy it's just like a parmesan you could just kind of um, just top your salads with a little bit of delicious cheese um, not too much but I always like a little bit of cheese in my salad I do and this is my barbecue seasoning, and uh, they used to have it at Whole Foods, but they don't have it um, right now. So I actually got this on Amazon. It was a little more expensive to get, but it is absolutely delicious. And I season my chicken with it, and I season my um, Brussels sprouts with it. So I love this. Love, love, love. Um, it's delicious. little sea salt, little pepper, and a little simply organic um, barbecue ground rub, and also um, a little olive oil. So this is the carrot ginger soup. Um, I get this at Trader Joe's, uh, and then I also get the sweet potato soup. This is where I like to take two cups of spinach, and I will um, pour the soup right over the two cups of spinach, and it makes my soup feel really hearty. Um, I like that for quick, fast, and easy. And over here are my olive oils and my vinegars. Just kind of put them there, and then I just choose which one I want. So I have lots mixed here. Um, cinnamon pears down here. Then I do a white um, balsamic. That one is pumpkin spice. I haven't had that one in a while. Um, this is an olive oil, hoji blanca. It's my favorite olive oil. And um, the traditional balsamic vinegar is right here. And then another olive oil. Kornacki, maybe. And then I always have an extra of my traditional ready to go because I use that one so much. So I use um, olive oil and a little bit of the balsamic vinegar. Um, these are all from Boston Olive Oil Company and I love, love, love them. So I make a huge salad um, with them, okay? So I'm about to make one of my salads and this is the bowl I use. And then I love this chopper, so I make a nice chopped salad. And then again with my olive oils. So I'm gonna make that now. And putting all the ingredients in, the broccoli, the cauliflower. I'm gonna do, um, again, I'm gonna have my new crunch collection. 
Um, my greens, these are um, organic and they I got them, I'm going to use them first because they're a little older. Um, and that's it. So that's a great little quick uh, healthy meal. And then we'll go over to um, my shakes that I like. These are the protein shakes I like. Um, I get them on Amazon. So this one here, the vanilla latte, um, this one has caffeine in it. Uh, it was the only one they had available, so I got it. Um, I don't love to have caffeine later in the day, but it has um, coffee fruit extract and green coffee bean extract. So um, that one has caffeine. So I only drink that one if I have it in the morning. And then these don't have caffeine, any of the ones that don't say Energize. And um, Vanilla Delight, I've tried Chocolate Mint, and um, I just ordered chocolate because that's all they had available because these fly off the shelf. So these are the ones I usually drink as my protein. And then I mix it in my blender, get it all ready. And then this is new. Oops. I just bought this from Starbucks. It's huge, so I'm gonna put my shakes in there. Okay, and when I don't, when I don't have time, I just um, got this on eBay and Smart Shake. And then you can um, shake it up with, right there, um, it has this little coaster thing. So you can shake it up um, and on the go. So when I'm in a rush, I use this. And um, down here, you can unscrew this and put your protein powder and see how that little compartment, I can't hold the phone and do that, but that compartment would spin off and you can put your protein powder in there. So, and then you could just fill this up with water. I use almond milk, but I sometimes use water too. So anyway, so there's my ideas. And if you love to cook, then I'm not the person to follow. But if you like fast tips for healthy eating, then go ahead and watch these videos and let me know how you're doing.